Ah, my finger slipped and I've accidentally turned on the perspective grid tool in Adobe Illustrator. You've never used it, I've never used it. So before I restart Illustrator to switch it off, while we're here, why don't we learn how to use it once and for all, eh? Now the keyboard shortcut you accidentally hit to switch it on was Shift and P for perspective. We can use it to draw on planes with different vanishing points. And if we go to View Perspective Grid, we can change the number of vanishing points to one, two, or three. These handles change the parameters of your grid, but even if I showed you what they all did, you'll never remember it when you come to use it, so just have a play around, you can always undo. But the two main ones I find myself using all the time are the diamonds in the middle left or right, as these move the whole grid at once, or the circles at the very edge of the grid, which allow you to edit the perspective. Now over here, we can select which plane we want to draw on. So if I draw a rectangle with this blue side selected, it conforms to that face. And if I want to edit that rectangle later, I need to press Shift and V for the perspective selection tool, because without it, we're back to our normal transform behavior. Another handy feature of the perspective selection tool is that it allows you to drag on grouped shapes to those planes. So press Shift and V, select our face, drag on our group and adjust. Select a new face, drag and repeat for some perspective fun. And when we're done, you can either press this little cross here to switch it off or just press escape. 